Welcome. Welcome, all of you. Hello. Can I turn on your mics? Ah, there's my other one. I like the puppy. Who's got the puppy picture? Looks like little German Shepherds. Who's got the German Shepherds? Turn your mics on. Turn your mics on, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Andrew, are you the one with the dog picture? Can you hear me? Barely, but I can't hear you. Is that you with the dogs? Yes. Ah, oh, cute. Do you own Germans, German Shepherds? Yeah. Oh, good for you. How big are they? Uh, she's like seven years old. Seven years? Yeah, I got two myself. Uh, not German Shepherds. I got two mutts. Okay. And uh, I'm willing to offer them to anybody for $50. Why for? I go, I will pay you as much as $60 to take them. Either one. Actually, the one usually is sitting around here. You guys kind of anxious about this or what? Little. Yeah. Yeah. Nervous. Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. It's only chemistry. Online, though. Ah, online. Well, we're going to do our best, guys. We're going to do our best to make our way through this, okay? Okay. And I'm going to try and get rid of the chat for right now. Ah, oh, good. I got 14 participants. We doing okay, guys? Mm -hmm. All right. Hopefully, we will get everybody in here by 1230 or so. How many guys have had more than one year of chemistry in high school? More than oh. one year? All right, let's go ask the other question. How many of you have not had any chemistry in high school? Me. Raise your hands. Me. Uh, let's see. Add a question. Yeah, let's add a question. Oh, what am I doing here? I have no idea. I'm doing this. Type my question here. All right. I'm just kind of wasting time until it gets to be 12.30. You all still out there? Yeah. All right. Okay, we got two more people. I'm having people gain and people lose. Oh, that's the Phoenix guy. Who's the Phoenix guy? It's still me. <laughs> it's actually cool because what's happening is the area around your face is kind of like looking like it's on fire or something. It's going in and out. This is as good as I get to look, guys. So you're stuck with me in the cowboy hat for another four months. Oh, that really anticipates you, right? You really happy about that, cowboy hats? Actually, it's an Australian hat. And believe me, you don't want to see my hair. <laughs> okay, we got now 19, 20 maybe. I think I'm supposed to have 24. Let's start this off right. Andrew, you here? Got to yes. open your mics, guys. Andrew? I'm here. That's you? Yeah. Nationally. 
Nationally, guys, you got to, you got to talk to me. You got to open your mics. If you're not, if you're not, if you don't want to have your mics on, at least get into the chat line. Click on the chat room and type your message that you are here. Nationally. Julian. Here. Thank you. Mackenzie. Here. You Scottish, Mackenzie? No. Do you want to be Scottish? <laughs> I'm good. All right, good enough. Enzo. Here. Serena. Here. I think I just saw you, Serena. Mm -hmm. Rebecca. Here. Okay, I am going to going to really botch this. Anicia. Here. Ah, how bad? Um, it's pronounced Anelsia. Anosia? Anelsia. Anelsia. Sorry. My bad. What happened is my small L looked like an I to me. Thank you. Anelsia. Christopher. Christopher, are you here? Michael? Here. Did I, how did I do with that, Michael? Or is Pretty it Michael? Good. That's just Michael. Michael, I got you. I'm going to rewrite your name. Uh, Angelina. Here. Thank you. Here. Samantha. Here. Here. Aaron. Here. Valerie. Aaron. Here. Aaron. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're back. Well, I was with your lab. Now I'm with yeah. your lecture. All right. Good. Good. It's a good sign, guys. Somebody's taking me again. I'm sorry, Valerie, yes. did you say you were here? Yeah. Okay. Sasha. Uh, yeah, I'm here. I prefer Apollo, though. <laughs> I emailed Apollo. you. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Linda. Here. By the way, guys, as I'm calling your name, if you have something like Apollo does where you want to be called by something different, let me know, okay? Uh, Elizabeth. Kylie? Here. Press one for advising. Kenneth. Press two for Burster and Billing. Press three for financial aid, admission, records, and records. Somebody's records. already trying to get out of the class. <laughs> Thank you. Kenneth. Joel? Uh, Here. It's uh, Joel. Joel, sorry. Okay, uh, Kenneth, you here? Kenneth, I just saw you flash by. Okay, you're not here. Cameron? Here. Erica? Erica? Other Cameron? Why? I'm going to call you Y because you're spelling your name with the Y. Cameron, Cameron with the Y. You out there? You got the Enos? Yeah, Denise Enos. here. Thank you. Vanessa. Here. Jasmine. Here. Jasmine, did you have a sister that took me? No. No? Okay. I see names that look familiar to me. Trinity. Here. Alejandro. Alejandro. Hazza. Here. Okay, going back through one more time. Nashali. Here. Okay. Elizabeth. Kenneth. Kenneth? Here. Thank you. Uh, 
let's see. Yes, Joel's here. I know he's here. Erica. Erica. Cameron. And Alejandro. Anybody whose name I did I did not call. I just printed this out right before class, so I'm not anticipating anybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-three. Okay, that seems about right. Okay, I'm Mr. Popovich. Please call me Mr. Popovich. Call me Mr. P. Professor, Professor P, do not, talk, do not call me doctor. I have not earned that title. Anybody know? Anybody know what a doctor is? I go eight years of college. Yeah, you got to go to eight years of college. Basically, by the end of that time, you end up studying one subject for so long that you don't know anything. You know everything about nothing. Ah, first joke already blown. Got that out of the way, all right? Give me an idea of who I am. I have a Bachelor of Science from West Virginia University in chemistry. I also have a Master of Science in forensic chemistry from the University of Pittsburgh. I got my Bachelor of Arts in English from FIU. And I rounded out, I got my MA in education from USF, the real USF, ladies and gentlemen, the University of San Francisco, not the <laughs> yeah. challenged University of Florida. Talk to me. Is Tampa in South Florida? Yeah. No, come on. <laughs> I was just in South Florida. It took me six hours to drive there. Ah, four hours. <laughs> All right, so basically my career, I spent one year as a synthetic chemist for Revlon Healthcare Group. At that time, what Revlon did was they were trying to get into the pharmaceutical industry. So I spent one year as a synthetic chemist. What I did was I mixed one thing with another, one thing with another, and I ended up making a new compound. Absolutely, it was the most fascinating year of my life because I ended up making 23 compounds nobody had ever made before. It's kind of like a thrill. I held the only crystals of this substance in the whole entire world. But my boss, lovely man, he wanted me to work with phosgene. Anybody know what phosgene is? You studied it in World War I. What did the Germans keep on lobbing over at the French? Mustard gas. There you go. Phosgene is mustard gas. So I'm figuring, hmm, if mustard gas works with, with my cell bot, with my amines that I'm trying to make, it's messing with my own body. So I got scared and I went back to school and ended up being a forensic scientist. Got to Dade County, Florida. I got there just in time for the crack epidemic to start. Basically, I got there one day. I saw this brand new drug that was being talked about. This was going to date me a bit. They found out that there was this new drug called crack cocaine. <laughs> and amazing. Before this story came out on NBC News, I was getting maybe, maybe eight cases a week. It turned into like 60 cases a week after this hit. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I do not like South Florida. So I decided to get a job in the furthest place away from, from uh, uh, Day County, Florida, which is a place called Redding, California. They got tumbleweeds yeah. and steers there. 
and meth labs. I got to go out there in time to, have you, has anybody ever seen people in the all white suits? That was me going into these labs, trying to break them down. So I stayed there for four years. Then I decided to move back east to Wisconsin. I got to Wisconsin, it was October. It was snowing. The snow lasted until May. So I'm sitting there counting. That gives, that's six months of the year. I can't handle this. Got on my butt and went back to California for 15 years where I worked in my, oh, my pantheon, my, my ultimate place to live in the world, wine country in California. I was right in the middle of Sonoma County, California. I loved it. I was in heaven. I was an hour away from my favorite city in the world, San Francisco. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ignore that. I hope you will too. Actually, I can't. Can you hold on, please? Yes, I am going to leave it alone. So here I am in California, in San Francisco, loving it. Ladies and gentlemen, do not have grandchildren. They make you do stupid things. I decided that I would join my wife because my wife was coming here anyway, with me or without me. So I decided to join her and I moved into Tampa about uh, 10 years ago. And I've been teaching at either St. Pete College or here for the last 10 years. Personally, I've been married since uh, 1991. I've got one daughter who graduated from Duke and I got three grandchildren, one of whom is in your shoes right now. He's uh, going to FAU. The other two grandchildren are 15 and 13. Got two dogs. One is a big black uh, greyhound that literally speaking, if I open the door, she is gone for three hours because I can't catch her. The other one is a little Australian Sheltie type, Australian Shepherd type. That gives you a basic background of what, who I am and what I am. My expectations from you. What is the half-life for carbon-14? OK. I make this statement in all seriousness. This is your class. You're paying money for it. Get your money's worth. The way you get your money's worth is you come prepared and you come prepared ready to ask questions of the chemistry that we're going to be talking about. How do you come prepared? I give you three things. I give you a PowerPoint. The PowerPoints that I'm going to present in the Zoom meetings are, the, are similar to the ones that you have. I'm not going to say exact, and you should hope that they aren't exact, because if they were exact, they would be the same damn PowerPoints that I give year after year. I sit there on Sundays, I go through, and I edit them a little bit. So they are going to be a little bit changed. So you have PowerPoints. I give you videos. And you also have a textbook. You have three sources to try and get prepared for this particular, particular class. I run an interactive classroom. Vanessa, what do you think that means? We have to talk. That means I'm going to ask questions of you. Yes. OK. That intimidating, guys? Is that intimidating to you? No. Good, good. Absolutely fantastic. Because basically, this is a life skill. How many times do you think when you're out in the real world, you're going to be asked by your boss to explain some situation? And you're going to have to come up with a logical reason why you did something. 
The only way you're going to get that is if you're trained somehow. So I don't view this as just a chemistry class. I look at it as a life lesson class as well. The other thing is, guys, I'm giving you chemistry for the first time. Some of this stuff you're never going to have heard before. So what are the chances you're not going to know the answer? Chance. They're going to be pretty good if you don't know the answer. Simply say, I don't know. It's a perfectly good answer. It saves time and we're able to get through the class as fast as we can. Now, anybody come up with the half-life for carbon-14 yet? 5,700 on the computer. Years. Don't tell me some of you haven't checked out and gone to another website while you're here. <laughs> you have, you are, you've got the computers right there at your handy, please. If you don't trust something I say, go to, a, go to another tab, open it up, and check me out. Okay, acquired materials for this class. You need to have a pen. You need to have something to write on. Hopefully it's not your right hand or your left hand. I guess if you're right-handed, you would write on your left hand. Wouldn't you? Anyway, guys, the textbook is a very useful reference material. Do you have to have it? No, you don't have to have it. But what you do have to have is you have to have the homework code. And when you get the homework code for mastering chemistry, you will have access to an e-text. Bring a calculator every day and Bring your attention. I have a question. Good, perfect. Go for it, your name. Questions have uh, they cost. You have to tell me your name. My name's Trinity. Hi, Trinity. Hi. Okay, so for the access code for the homework, is that the My Lab and Mastering? Like, yes. Do you get that from um, the bookstore? Like you don't have to purchase the book itself, but if you access the code, you can get that plus the ebook online as well? You may have to pay extra for the ebook. I'm not entirely certain about that, Trinity. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It used to be you paid for the code, you got the e-text. But I think they may have reduced the price of the code. If it's worrying you that much, I'm giving you a lot of videos and I'm giving you the PowerPoints. You don't absolutely have to have the text but some people learn better reading through rather than seeing it. Does that make sense to you, Trinity? Yeah, it does. I have a question as well regarding the uh, materials. Serena. Yes. So, um, so for the lecture, we do need the ebook for my lab, but for your lab class, we only need the lab kit, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Trinity. I have, another, I have another question. <laughs> so I have your lab class as well. And uh, which one do you have? You have to be specific. Friday, the Friday face to face uh, lab. No, I have the Wednesday. I guess that okay. one's the mm -hmm. online one. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that one is not mandatory for like the Zoom meetings because I know you said you had a meeting for Wednesday at two, but that one we don't have to come to all the time except for this one right here is the one that's all the mm -hmm. time, right? The lecture, you have to come. The lecture is written into the program as having class meeting times. So yes, you do have lectures okay. on Monday and Wednesday, 1230 to 1, 145, okay? Mm -hmm. The lab, you do not have to do that. As a matter of fact, I don't have to give that lecture. I could just simply just throw the material out there and just have a session every, uh, uh, every week that in which I would just open it up for you to ask me questions. Okay? Yeah.
Guys, if you have questions, please shout them out. I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, my name is right, Questions out. The last two people have already identified themselves. <laughs> uh, I'm Linda. Uh, Hi, Linda. I used chemistry and um, in my high school. So beforehand, I used to take AP chemistry. Uh, so my teacher assigned a lot of mastering chemistry. Will there be a lot of assignments on that? Okay. I'm not a big fan of mastering chemistry. I'll be perfectly honest with you. The uh, uh, last semester, okay, let's go the history of it. In the spring, we had to do this at the last minute. What I normally do is I have homework assignments that are very relevant to my tests, okay? And those homework assignments okay. I've, I've designated as extra homework. Okay. Okay. The master in chemistry, I have to give, I have to be able to grade that in some fashion. Now, what happened in the spring? Normally, what I do is I give these assignments, I give you the assignments, and I give you the problems worked out. So, Literally speaking, it doesn't make sense for me to go through each one to check and see if you've done them right since you already have the answers. So what I do is I grade the homework on the quantity that you do normally. All right. But that entailed you delivering the homework to me on test days. What happened is in the spring after we went through the cutoff and we went online after that, I had to have my students submit the homework online. Emails do not have a finite amount of space that attachments can have. So some of my students were sending me nine and 10 emails per homework assignment. In one week, I answered 300 emails. Wow. That's not happening again. So because <laughs> of that, for the summer, I got in got I got reinvolved with master in chemistry and so that way we have assignments now to answer your question linda right linda yes to answer your question linda what i do yeah. is i look at the time that uh mastering says you should be spending or excuse me what mastering does is they've done research everybody throughout the world has the same program and they literally figure out how much time each student takes on this and they average it out. So those times are set in the limit. I'm going to have you do 60 minutes worth of mastering. Now in the summer I had, I had my students do 120 minutes. The problem with that is, is I've found that what you're doing 120 minutes of mastering, this did not give you any time at all to do the extra homework, which is more pertinent to what my tests are. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. So I have cut the homework for mastering down in half, but that's specifically to give you more time to do the extra homework. So to do the extra homework, do we just submit it on Canvas? Is that You're not, you have the answers? Oh, okay. You have the answers and the questions. You don't literally have to submit. You, you, don't submit it. I okay. get enough emails already. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Any other questions, guys? I'm going to go through this one by one in a little bit. Okay. How are you going to be successful? Oh. Former student said it very succinctly, and I will not improve upon his language. Chemistry is very, very, very hard. Basically, in chemistry, what you do is you build a foundation of information, then the next subject will build upon that foundation. As subject after that will build on the entire foundation. So that by the time you get to the end of the semester, you will have built your, built your building from the ground up. 
if you don't stay with the program from the very beginning, you're going to be very lost by the end. This is not a kind of a course where you can do the homework at the very last minute and understand the material enough to succeed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, there are quizzes that you're going to have to be dealing with, mainly on a weekly fashion. The quizzes are a combination of material I've lectured on previously. So the previous lecture's material will be on the quiz, as well as the new material for the, for the presentation that is going to happen that day. I got more pushback on this issue than any other. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the questions on the new material are going to be much simpler than the questions on the material that was presented beforehand. But I have to test you to make sure you're reading ahead. So generally speaking, 10 questions, five of which will be for the old material previously submitted that will be hard questions, five questions on a new material that will be fairly easy. I provide PowerPoints to all my lectures. It is a good idea for you to print those PowerPoints out. You can print them six slides to a page. If you have them there, then you're not going to have to keep on writing unnecessary information. It's already written in the PowerPoint. You can just add little addendum notes to it. Uh, I am going to go through the course schedule in a second. Uh, you're going to need to prepare for the classes before we, you get the lecture on that material. All right, I'm gonna go through my first screen share and hopefully I'll get to the right place. Nope, nope. Okay, nope, wrong place. Machine scaring stop. Hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to find. I, unfortunately, hmm. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to find it now. There we go. When I'm doing, okay, when you pop up your screen, you get something that looks like this when you get into Canvas, ladies and gentlemen. Does it look like this? Yes. I don't know, I don't normally see. All right. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're going to just go to Canvas in order to get into the course. You're going to have a dashboard off to the left. Within the dashboard, you have something called courses. Click on it once. And we're going to go down to our course, which is 42527. And this loads the course into this. Now, the general organization of the course involves modules. I've, I've organized this into test one. Under test one, there are different modules with different subject matters. This is the extra homework that you do not have to turn in. In between that, test two with modules, test two homework, test three modules, test four modules. We have at the very bottom, we have other resources. Mainly right now, the only thing I have in there is a periodic table. Please, ladies and gentlemen, 
Download the periodic table and print it out. Okay. The other thing down here are tests. And basically this is where you are going to find the practice tests. Okay. We good with that so far? I have a question. Yep, I'm here. For me, it's not showing the homework parts. It's just, it only shows like the tests. Okay, I'm sorry. Are you, are you, are you, uh, all right, let me go back to modules. Are you seeing this page which says schedule and videos at the top? Yes. Okay, what you look down uh, through the modules. Do you have test one? Yeah. You're telling me that the homework is not, oh, there's a reason. You should be able to see it now. I think I know what you mean, because I see test one, test two, test three, test four. Click test one, and all of the homework modules will pop it. up under yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So I also have a question. Um, on Under all these tests, um, tabs. I know it says like the day, you know, what day it is, but if we click on that, say day one, is that going to take us to my lab to do the homework no. or? No, okay. I'll get, I will get into that, Serena. Okay. Sorry about this. I thought these were already published, but apparently they are not. You should be able to see everything except homework four at this point. And now you should be able to see, should be able to see all, all four of them now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's generally how the course is organized. Now, if you click on syllabus, what you're gonna get is a copy of the welcoming letter Underneath that, you will have a copy of the syllabus itself. You click on it and it will load up as a Word document. It'll take a few minutes. Is everybody seeing this? Yes. Yes? Okay. Basically, we're Zoom meeting. First, first section. That's the important line. We're Zoom meeting between 12.30 and 1.45. Second paragraph, the important part is, the important part is those two phone numbers. The one on the left is my home line. The one on the right is my cell phone. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't really text very frequently. I'm not good at it. If you have a question, feel free to give me a call. I'll be happy to answer it. Generally speaking, I found that most students don't want me to be doing that. Or to, no, most students don't want to be talking to me anyway. All right, we have my office location and hours. If you want to meet me in person, I will be in DSCI 135 on Fridays from 9 to 9.30. Other than that, on Monday and Wednesday, I will be in the course chat room from 11.45 to 12.15. So that's where you, can, where you can contact me that you need to talk, we need to talk about something. Yeah, the rest of this, this stuff is crap. Need a computer with internet access. Does everybody have a computer with internet access and a camera? Is there anybody that does not? I'm going to take that for being a yes for everybody. You need the camera because you're going to be proctored by honor lock and they need camera access to do the proctoring. You need the internet access to do the Zoom meetings. If you didn't know what your Canvas link was, there it is right there. Basically, I'm going to get out of here right now for the moment. 
go back here. The way, that, again, we go modules. I'm going to give announcements throughout the semester based on, on uh, items that I need to be performed during that particular week. I have a question about yep. the honor log. Um, is the honor log used for both the quizzes and the tests? No, or just, just the, the tests. Okay. Just the tests. Uh, if we get into the modules, and I'm just going to open one of these modules up. Which one looks good to you, Linda? Day mm. one matter. <laughs> no, 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 it's a boring one. <laughs> Still geometry. <laughs> All right. So this is how each module is introduced. First section will be the three PowerPoints. And you're going to have to look, click onto it, and it will take a little while to, to uh, organize itself. But right now, that is going to be the dimensional analysis PowerPoint that is loading up. It will take a while. There it is, loaded up. OK? In that particular day, I have three separate PowerPoints that I'm going to be dealing with. Density and temperature on that day as well. The section down below that is important. It is the online outline. Basically, what I've done is I have taken three different resources and given you access to the subject matter for those three different resources. Come on. All right. For the dimensional analysis, subject matter, I've got one entire PowerPoint that's labeled dimensional analysis. If this were another subject matter, I would have the individual subject matter listed as that, listed at, in the Roman numeral. Below that, I would have slides, and in parentheses, I would have the slides of that particular PowerPoint which pertain to that subject matter. Below that, I give you a video which discusses that subject matter. Below that, I give you the pages in the text, uh, the sixth edition of TRO. I give you those page numbers. Questions about what the online outline does for you. If you're having trouble with a particular subject matter, come to this source, I would if you've already had the subject presented in the PowerPoint, I would go to the video. If you haven't had it uh, produced in the PowerPoint yet, I would look through the PowerPoint. Questions on the online outline? Go ahead, Andrew. So are we supposed to read these um like go through all of them before the class or after class? Andrew, that depends upon your level of competence and how, how over the top you want to be, okay? I'm giving, all I'm doing is giving you the resources. I would suggest you at least go through one of these. And my suggestion really would be the PowerPoint. Do that the first couple of times. If you find that's working for you, then continue on with that. If you find you're getting lost in there, then go to the videos or TRO. Does that make sense to you, Andrew? I'm not requiring that you do each and every one of these. These are in there just to give you places where you can look real quick. Okay? Serena, did you have a question? Yeah, so this is basically just study material for like your lecture class. So this is yes. like where all of our PowerPoints, our notes, everything. Okay. Yes. The other question. thing, the other, I'm sorry, T Trinity. Yeah, so <clears throat> we don't have a final project or like essay to do, right? Like all this material that no. you're giving us is just to help us prepare for the final exam. What do you want to do to me, Trinity? You're trying to kill me? 
No, I was just saying, you don't want to kill me. <laughs> yeah, but you, you have months to do this. I have like a week to do final projects. No, no. There, okay, there will be no, I'll, I'll go into the grading in a second or two, okay? Okay. The other important thing to look at this, and I'm going to get out of here for a second, and I'm going to go into a normal one. And since somebody mentioned stoichiometry, and let's do this one. Okay, if you were wanting to study chemical equations and you wanted a review sheet, go to the online outline because le legitimately speaking, when you get there, it's going to be divided into subjects. Do you see that there? Are you seeing the Roman numerals? Those are the individual subjects that I consider important underneath this particular topic. So there you have your review guide right set before you. The last thing in the modules I believe there are, uh, don't do that to me, no. <sighs> Inbox. Are you seeing the screen, guys? Are you still seeing the screen? Yes. Okay. Everybody close your eyes. <laughs> now, if you're real good, you would have gotten the password. Okay, we're back in here. We still in here, guys? You still here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the last thing you're going to find these are basically also within the modules, the homework assignments exist, okay? These are the same thing as the modules that are labeled homework assignments. So you have two different sources in which to get them. Questions on how the modules are set up, what's in the modules and the online outline. Okay. While we're in the syllabus, you also, within the syllabus, not only have the syllabus itself, you have the schedule. This is the schedule of all the lectures, homework, and quizzes. There are a bunch of them. Generally speaking, you will have a homework due the homework that's due will be on the previous week's work. So our first homework assignment is August 26th. What that will have to do with subject wise is matter, chemical and physical changes, measurement readings, significant figures and scientific notation. The homework we have on the September 2nd will deal with dimensional analysis, density and temperature atomic theory and the structure of the atom. Are you understanding how the homework is working? Generally speaking, homeworks are gonna be due on Thursdays. The only time you won't have a homework is if the previous lesson had a test right before it. For example, September 14th is our first test. If you notice, there is no homework the Thursday after the test. Because what am I going to give you homework on? Questions about when quizzes are due and when homework's due. I have a question, quick question yep. again. I'm kind of confused with, um, so 
on August 26th, the first homework is due. So yeah. how do we submit it? Is that on Mastering Chemistry or that's yes. on the worksheets? That is Mastering Chemistry. The only homework you are getting graded for, the only homework you are submitting is in Mastering Chemistry. And I, I've, I've got a caveat there. The only homework that you are submitting for a graded homework is in Mastering Chemistry. Oh, okay. You also have discussion forums that you have to use. Okay. Questions about the schedule. Important thing, it is subject to change. If I realize, like for example, today, I may not get to matter. So that means that's going to push everything back. Okay. All right, get back into the syllabus. Don't you love these first days, guys? Mm -hmm. For sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, I've talked about the modules. I've talked about the PowerPoints, the extra homework problems, and the outline. Quizzes. If, you are, if you're having problems logging into something, go back to the syllabus. In this particular section, I tell you basically how to get through and do quizzes. There is a link for quizzes and a series of quizzes and your exams will populate the screen. Quizzes over in the over in the left column, if you click on that, you will have a series of quizzes which populates your screen. All you're gonna have to do is click on one and let's do it this way. Let's go back to home. This will be of more, more better use to you. Okay, we're gonna to go to quizzes. This is how you would see things. Okay. Ah, crap. <sighs> Sorry. What's happened is I haven't made a quiz available for you yet. Thank you. Okay. Dana. Available from save. Now we're going to go back in to home. Student view. Hey, now we're going to try quizzes. Okay, click into that. And this is how the quiz opens up. Take the quiz. And you will have the quizzes, quiz questions set up there. Automatically graded guys. Questions on the quizzes. Serena, do you have a question? Or are you just trying to shoot the screen? No, yeah, so oh, shoot, sorry, the I had person myself behind muted. the screen. Um, so the quiz information or like the quiz um, stuff that we'll be learning is all basically on the PowerPoints that are in each day, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Today I'm supposed to talk about matter. Okay. And I'm going to have to get to that real soon. Today I'm, gonna, I'm supposed to talk about matter. So if you notice, 
question one, two, three, four, five. You also are responsible for elements. Now we're going to get into the question, the subject matter we're going to talk about on Wednesday. And that is significant figures, physical and chemical changes, and more significant figures. And I think there's a scientific notation in here. Chemical changes. Are you understanding what's happening with the quizzes? Any questions on quizzes? I think what I'm confused about is Who? that each module I'm sorry, Each who's module. talking? Serena. Serena, what are, you, what are you confused about? So I'm still confused because under test one um, tab, it gives you day one, day two, day three. So are the quizzes going to be, be based off of just what's in day one or like how is it going to range? That's what I'm confused on. Okay, go back to the, la go back to the lecture schedule. Come on. So it would be on day one and day two. Okay. Do you see okay. where quiz one is? Right. Okay. Previous material, the, the whatever lecture there has been since the last quiz is fair game. So I have one lecture today on matter. So you're gonna have in-depth questions on matter. But the day that your quiz is due, you also have other subjects that you're supposed to be reading ahead for. So you will also have questions on that. Does that explain things, Serena? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I may have gotten out of this thing. Ah, good. I didn't lose everything. All right. When you go into My Lab and Mastering, that's the next section here My Lab and Mastering. You will get the first thing you get in here, you will get a button which which you will then purchase your code for my lab and mastering, or it will give you an access to putting in a code if you've already purchased it. You will do that. Once you do that, you will get a series of homework assignments. And you're going to notice these aren't very full yet. I have exactly two assignments in here. The first week you have to complete Introduction to Mastering Chemistry by next, I believe at midnight on Sunday. Basically you get videos and this tells you how to do the homework within this particular program. It's extra credit for the homework. Homework, you're just gonna click on it and you're going to have a series of a series of questions that are going to pop up. So you're going to click on a question. And you are going to have to answer in this particular case which statement is false. Generally speaking, they are true, false, multiple choice, or short fill in the blanks. Are we good with my lab and mastering? So for, um, before we go to the, like answering the questions for the homework, 
Where it says exercise one, two, enhancement. Is that like? This corresponds, this corresponds with the sections in the book. Oh, okay. Any other questions, guys? All righty then. Let's go back to Nope, that's not where I want to go. That's where I want. Uh, no, I don't want that either. Okay, I'm back to this. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, further, going further down. The discussion is where you enter in your discussions for the week. You have to make three significant comments every week with the exception of the first two weeks. First two weeks, you're going to have a specific thing that I call the scavenger hunt. And basically, you're going to just click on the scavenger hunt. Now, when you are going to do the particular entry, if you want to just reply to the thread that's there, you just simply click in the, uh, click in the reply box and you say one no. Then all you have to do is go down to post, reply, and it's in there. Are we good with that? If you want to apply to the thread rather than the initial topic, you would just go down to the thread, reply, do the same process. Now, what you have to do in the first week you have a series of 10 questions to answer. So by Sunday at 4 p.m., you have to answer have to these answer. 10 questions. Please do them in order. Please put the number of the question in front of it. Because what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be tallying these. And the week after that, I am going to be asking different questions. Okay, you understand? This is what you're supposed to be answering for the first week. Second question, second set. Has something to do with those questions, but they're not exactly the same. So if you go down to the next forum discussion, Based upon your answers for the first one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a determination as to who was born the furthest from Tampa, okay? What you are gonna do is you are gonna go through and you're gonna come up with your own answers for this. I'm gonna tally all the scores. The person with the most right gets uh, three quiz points, two quiz points for the second place, one for the third place. Does anybody Wait. not understand where we're going with this? I'm question. kind of lost. <laughs> I have a question. Okay, who's who's that? Vanessa? No, nope. uh, Linda. Linda, hi, Linda. Uh, so for this one right now, is that for the like for the answer when you answer them, you just have to like pick who's like born the furthest. Okay. Like your... Let let me let me go through and try and describe this again. Okay, the first questions, your answer questions 
to the best of your ability as they relate to you. Where were you born? Name all the pets you've been owned by. How many states have you visited? Okay, these questions are personal information. Not personal, but it's, not, it's generic information about you. Okay? Does everybody understand the first part of this? Now, after these answers have been submitted, I am going to tabulate your answers. And based upon the answers of everybody in the class, I'm going to make a determination of which person was born the furthest from Tampa. And based upon that, I'm going to come up with an answer to that. Okay? I'm going to come up with an answer as to who do you think the biggest pet lover is? Biggest animal lover is? Okay? Who is the most traveled person in the class for the third question? Okay? So I'm going to tabulate your original answers. And then I'm going to come up with what my answers to those new questions are. And come on. Thank you. And so for the second week, what you are going to have to do is you're going to have to look through all of the discussion forums of everybody that filled one out. And you're going to have to determine from all of those forums who you believe was the furthest born from Tampa. Who is the most erudite person in the class? Uh, who is the most cultured? And who is the most sartorial? So you're going to submit answers based upon the original question and answers that we had the week before. And you are going to submit the answers to this. And once you submit the answers to this, I'm going to compare them to what I determined the correct answers for these questions are. The person that gets the most right gets the most extra point, extra credit points. Now, does that, is that good for you? Yeah, I understand now. Sierra? Or Serena? Yes, Serena. We good, Serena? Oh, yeah. Um, so quick question. Do we have to respond to um, the first yes. discussion? Yes. Right. But like, do we have to respond to other peers within our classroom or all we're doing if is posting to. our... If okay. you want to, it's not necessary. Guys, this is only a, this is a breaking the ice type of exercise. What I'm really, really trying to get you to do is I'm trying to get you to use the forum to get the trust to each other so that you're using the forum. Because if you're using the forum, then you are going to be answering each other's questions and it works out beautifully. The area right below discussions is the chat room. Now, please understand this. When I am in my office hours, I am not in discussions. I am in the chat room. It's a little bit less formal than the discussions are. Grades, you would access them through the grade tab. Uh, honor lock, you're not gonna have to worry about. That's just with me. If you need to do an exam, all you have to do is click into quizzes and Aaron will talk about the loveliness of working with Honor Lock, right, Aaron? I haven't had a problem with it. You didn't have a problem with it? All right, well, it, actually I did the first like five times. So once I figured it out, it was like riding a bike. <laughs> okay, that explains all the tabs that are going on. Any questions about those? Okay, quickly we're gonna get back into the syllabus and talk about the actual grading. If I can ever get this silly thing to load. 
Okay, wonderful. Okay. Everything adds up to a thousand points. Everything adds up to a thousand points. You get 70 points participation by giving me three responses, three legitimate responses in the discussion forums. After the second week, you are going to have to do three, three submissions to the discussion forum. That can take the place of doing the extra homework problems. You can show me how you did an extra homework problem on that. You can help another student. If another student comes up with a question on how to do something and you help them, that counts as a response for you. If you ask for help, that's a significant response. If you ask for clarification in a PowerPoint, point, a PowerPoint slide, the text or a video, that counts. Uh, if you have a technical issue that you need to have help resolved, that counts. If you have questions on quiz or, or test results, that counts. It just has to be a significant comment. You need to do three of those significant comments per week. And that will start with the third week of classes. The first and second week are going to be done doing the scavenger hunt. Now, the only thing about the grading scale that we have to worry about is that these are basically 90, 80, 70, 60. What this, what this last line says is that I can lower an A down to an 87, but I will never raise it above a 90. Second question, you need a C or better out of this course and lab in order to proceed on to Gen Chem 1. Quizzes, basically we have 18 regularly scheduled quizzes. I give you two pop quizzes. So there are 20 quizzes. Two of them are dropped. Your lowest two quiz results are dropped you get uh, 180 points for, for the quizzes that are still there. Do not be late. I don't accept late reports. The, basically, at 2 o'clock on the day of, that the quizzes do, the right answers are going to be displayed. So you can't Submit for quizzes late. Homework. Basically, there are two, two sections of that. One is master in chemistry, which is graded. The other part is the extra homework I've described already in the modules. Class participation, 50% of your participation is due to entry into the forum. 50% is administered through the, through the uh, participation in the direct classroom, my directly asking you questions. Note, homework and class participation are 20% of the grade. So basically, you can earn two letter points by just dealing with those things. You have four exams this semester. Note, the exams are 120 points each. So when you look into the grade book and you see that you've got an 87, an 87 is about a 66%. It's not, I enter in the point total, not the percentage. Also, you're going to be given a text box on the exams. You are going to have to show me work to achieve any score on a question. You need to type your responses into the provided text boxes. 
Ooh, you should be happy about this one. Exams are open book. You're allowed any resource except your phone and another browser. You're allowed any resource. Note, if you decide to get the e-text, that's gonna entail using another browser. So therefore, if you get the e-text, just realize you're not gonna be able to use it on the test. If you score 90% or better on the raw scores of each exam, you're exempt from the final. What I will do is I will average your four, your four exam scores, and that average will be entered in to the final. I average the exam scores. If the exam does not exceed 75%, I will include one question of extra credit with a value of up to 10%. So in other words, if the class average is a 65, I want to get that average up to a 75. So what I will do is I will give you a question, and that question is worth 10% of the value of the test, which is 12 points. If, you average, if the average is 70, then I want to still get it up to a 75, so the extra credit will be worth 5% or six points. Basically, I will ask the question. The question can be on something that I have not covered that's in the text uh, or that's in the text that I have not covered. I also have the right to discontinue this policy if I, if I deem that you are plagiarizing each other's results. Last thing, you, the score will never be above 100%. In other words, if you earn 118 points out of your exam and the exam uh, extra credit is worth 10 points, you will get another two points out of that. You will not get uh, an, an, a final exam score of 128. I don't give makeup exams unless you tell me a week beforehand you have a prior engagement. And then I will decide whether or not to allow you a makeup. Questions, guys? You have a final. The final is cumulative and it may replace one of your lower exam scores. Everybody can have a bad day. Uh, the exam, the individual exam scores will not replace the final though. There will not be extra credit for the final and it is worth 120 points. You have a week after the, after the entry into the grade book to test, to contest, any score in the quizzes or the exams. I don't like late submissions. Note the bold here. If you are not in the Zoom meeting, you're responsible for learning material that you have missed in the absence. That includes exam dates being changed, that includes other pertinent information. It's your responsibility to get that if you have missed class. If you leave early, you will, have, you will be penalized. Guys, the last day, to, if you don't like what you've heard today, you can withdraw by Friday and get your money back. The last day to withdraw with a grade of W is October 24th. Please contact me before you withdraw from the course because I have a better idea of what's coming up and how you may fare in what's coming up versus what you're looking at.
To get an incomplete, you need to complete two thirds of the course with a grade of C or better. Then what will happen is I will make a contract with you in terms of what, when you have to make up that particular, that particular material. And it has to be before there's a certain date of the next semester that I'm not aware of at the top of my head. If you have a disability and you have accommodations, please, please email me. And as a matter of courtesy, please remind me of your accommodation a week, especially a week prior to the exam dates because I need to plug in the extra time that you're going to be required. Don't worry about the quizzes. The quizzes are not, do not have a time limit on them. Pretty much it, guys. And already I'm behind. Any questions? I do want to try one thing before we leave. Okay, right now you shouldn't be seeing anything, correct? Yes. All right, wonderful. Oh, your homework for the first week, first day. Okay, can you see the screen now? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right, you need to memorize the following elemental symbols. That's going to be part of the quiz that is on Wednesday. So I've developed some things that I hope will help you do the memorization. Ladies and gentlemen, I am especially proud of this one. I'm especially proud of barium. I'm not even getting a laugh. Okay. Not even a little chuckle, guys. Miss the punchline? I don't get it. <laughs> barium? Before sheep die, they go ba, then we bury them. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Shoot low, Fun. Sheriff. They're riding Shetlands. Okay, one more thing. That's sort of stop screen, stop share. Hopefully, there we, no, it's not what I want. Why do computers do what you tell them to do rather than what you want them to do? Okay. Yes, I know I'm going over a little bit. But this is okay. I need you to tell me whether you can hear this because that will entail whether or not I'm able to show you videos from now on. Okay. Can you see the screen, which has very something AS science? Can you see this screen, guys? Yes. Okay. 
I need you to tell me if you can. And hear now, ASAP Science presents yeah. the yeah. elements of the periodic yeah. table. Yeah. We can. Hydrogen and helium, then lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon everywhere, nitrogen all through the air, with oxygen so you can breathe in fluorine for your pretty teeth, neon to light up the sign, sodium for salty times, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, then sulfur, chlorine, then argon, potassium, and calcium so you'll grow strong, scandium, titanium, vanadium, and chromium, and manganese. This is the periodic table, noble gas is stable, allergens and alkali react aggressively, each period will see new outer shells will electrons are added moving to the right, iron is the 26th and cobalt nickel coins you get, copper zinc, gallium, germanium and arsenic, selenium and bromium, well krypton helps light up your room, rubidium and strontium, then yttrium, zirconium, niobium, molybdenum, technetium, ruth, Rhodium, palladium, silverware, then cadmium and indium, tin cans, antimony, then tellurium, and iodine, and xenon, and then cesium, and barium is 56, and this is where the table splits, where lanthanides have just begun, lanthanum, cerium, and praseodymium. Neodymium's next to Promethium, then 62 Samarium, Europium, Gadolinium, and Terbium, Dysprosium, Holium, Erbium, Thulium, Terbium, Lutetium, Hafnium, Tantalum, Tux, and then we're on to Rhenium, Osmium, and Iridium, Platinum, Gold, to make you rich till you grow old, Mercury, to tell you when it's really cold, Thallium, and lead that is it for your me, Polonium, Astatine would not be yummy, Radar, and CM will last a little time, Radium, then actinize at 89, this is the periodic table, noble gas is stable, halogens and alkali react aggressively, each period will see new outer shells will electrons are to the right, actinium, thorium, protectinium, uranium, Americium, Curium, Berkelium, Californium, Isinium, Fermium, and Olivium, Nobelium, Laurentium, Rutherfordium, WM, Swigium, Borium, Hesium, Lumetnerium, Darcinium, Mercanium, Cupertusium, Nihonium, Therobium, Moscovium, Liverborium, Tennessine, and Organesson, and then we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the song, make sure you check it out on iTunes and Bandcamp. With Thank you. Okay, guys, that's as far as I got here, okay? Okay, Shane's screen sharing is served. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. 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 I, the question wasn't, did you want to hear it? <laughs> okay. Good. That may, honestly, that is the first time since I've been doing Zoom meetings that I've been able to th throw videos up there. That's good news for you. That means you don't have to listen to me for 75 minutes every day that we're in these meetings. And it gives me a break because I can rest my voice. <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions, guys? You're making me dizzy. Yadinas? Yes. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> well, I have another class, so I'm trying to get ready for it. <laughs> okay. Anybody have any questions about anything in the syllabus? So can you like go over real quickly the assignments that- Who's talking? Trent. Trent. Trinity. Okay, Trinity, I'm barely hearing you now for some reason, Trent. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Okay, so I said that, can you just go over um, real quick what the assignments that we should be like looking out Ooh, for? Thank you, thank you so much, Trim. You mean the assignments that are due? Yes. Thank you so right. much. You are so welcome. Okay, what you have, you have a, your first quiz on Wednesday. Okay. Okay, first quiz is on what? Wednesday. And I'll probably alter it I'll probably alter it a bit once we get off here because I didn't get a chance to talk about matter any, okay? 
So first quiz is on Wednesdays. You have that to do. You have to answer the scavenger hunt questions on the discussion forum. Okay. Okay, what else? Uh, it's something else that I had you do, wasn't it? You said the um, introduction to mastering. Oh, thank you. Is the introduction to mastering is due on Sunday. I believe that's the only thing you have to you have due from now until next Monday. You'll have another quiz on Monday. Okay, and is that before I meet our lecture or after? The quiz? Oh wait, yeah, is it gonna be due? It's gonna be like, due by noon on Mon On The quiz is gonna be due by noon on Wednesday this coming up. And mm -hmm. the second quiz will be due by noon of uh, next Monday. Okay. Are you, are you sensing a pattern here? I am sensing the pattern. There we go, good. And basically all of the answers are opened up by two o'clock on the day that the quiz is due. So that's the reason I cannot give you an extra, give you uh, extra time on the quizzes. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Guys, you're on your own time now. I have a question. I can't hold you, I can't hold you past 145. Serena, question? Yeah, so for the exams, you said they are open book. If we were to go ahead and take handwritten notes of yes. all the PowerPoint. Okay. Yes. As a matter of fact, Serena, if you want to print out the PowerPoints with your notes on the PowerPoints, mm -hmm. that's legitimate. Okay. You're allowed to have. The only thing you are not allowed, you're not allowed to access another browser while you're taking the test, and you're not allowed to, uh, uh, to use your cell phone. Basically, I have, I have you show the cell phone to the screen and you're, at, you're supposed to take that cell phone and physically show on your lock where you put it. Okay. Sorry about the phone. That's not important. Any other questions? I'm down to 23 of you. So as Trin, oh, so good. Trin told us, as Trin, grabbed out of me. We have a quiz on Wednesday. We have a, doing the introduction to mastering uh, by next Sunday, midnight, and you have to enter the scavenger hunt results, that forum. Okay? Guys, I, if you have questions, please email me. If you get desperate enough, use the phone numbers. You can tell, as you can tell during the class, how well I answer my phone. I have a question. Who is this? Vanessa? Vanessa. Yes. Okay. So you sent me an email saying that I need to complete the introduction to mastering. But where do I do this? Because I'm trying to create the MyLab and mastering. And it's you have not to purchase me. the code, Vanessa. Um, are you in, where do I go? Okay, where, you can do it by just going into the course, clicking the My Lab and Mastering tab, mm -hmm. and that will pop up a screen which you can purchase the, you can either, I believe you can either enter the code or you can purchase the code at that point. Okay, because, oh, I see. Do you have two computers? Yeah, I couldn't log in at first because I'm on campus. So I'm doing like the Zoom meeting on my phone. Oh, okay. Uh, turn, it, turn the phone back to where the screen is. So I'm creating my account. So I click here, right? What does it say? Open yes. my lab in mastering. Yes. So after I create my account, it's going to show me like where I can purchase it. Exactly. Right? Okay. But whenever, let's see. If you're having problems, Vanessa, they know their software a lot better than I do. 
okay? okay? If you're having trouble logging on, they know their software a lot better than I do. I would, I would, I would use them as a resource. Call, they have a helpline in there somewhere. Okay. Okay? Thank you. I'm down to 19 people. Are we supposed to be leaving now? <laughs> It, it's, it's, up, it's entirely up to you. I, I told you, I, didn't know. I have you to 145. Well, Are you using the same two. book? Oh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, Trent. Oh, no, keep going. I was just Are you using funny. the same book that you're using in the fall? I'm not sure, uh, uh, Aaron. Uh, they, uh, to be honest with you, what I had to do on Saturday, I had already gone through and all the subjects that were in those online outlines, I had to go and do them again because I didn't have the correct edition. So they probably made a new edition just in the last semester or so. I, okay. Aaron? Maybe. Aaron, do not buy the book again. <laughs> no, I did not do, want to. Do you, uh, uh, sorry, uh, don't buy the book again. If you have the fifth edition, that will do just as well, okay? Right. Just know that the online outline isn't going to exactly match uh, what the fifth edition is. It should be fine. I just have to purchase a new code. Uh, yes, I do believe you have to. I think the codes are good for a semester now. Right. They reduced the price, but by reducing the price, they limited the time. I'm down to 12 people. Okay. That's it for me. I just like to hear people's questions. No problem. Kylie, are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. Okay, good. No questions? No. Bye, Trin. Bye. You guys have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I have, a I have a question. Andrew? Uh, no, this is Cameron. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Which Cameron without the Y, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Um, so when I go into the mastering chemistry, um, I'm already in, right? And I already paid for it or whatever, but it only pulls up like the extra credit assignments. Is that what we're supposed to do? Or are we supposed to? Okay. Like, another... is that, I believe Ca Cameron, that's the only one that is open to you right now. Oh, okay. I didn't know because uh, it said to do it. So I didn't want to. I don't want you doing home. homework before I've at least talked to you about it. Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. I was just, I'm, cause I'm trying to get aware of everything and like where everything is and how to access it. So that way when I, I don't have to act like worry about doing it later. So I was no, just trying to. I understand. Uh, Cameron, the assignments open a week before they're due. All right. So that particular assignment is due on the, uh, have to get a the twenty fourth. I got a no. It's not doing the twenty fourth. It's doing the twenty sixth. Okay. Okay. So if it's okay. doing the twenty sixth, it's not going to open until the nineteenth. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Yep. Thank you. I appreciate it. But you, Cam, and you did get on, and it's giving you, and it even it even designated it as extra credit. Yeah, it's just showing like yeah. my, my extra credit assignments, like a welcome to mastering introduction and new. That's that's course. all you have to do by Sunday. All right. And all those points are going to get put onto the homework as extra credit. Okay, so the extra credit is is due on Sunday, which is the the mastering. Yes, the that is exactly that. correct, Cameron. Okay, I appreciate it. No problem. Down to eight. So okay. wait, the exams and the quizzes are both open book. I have no way the first. Uh, the quizzes aren't proctored. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So, yes, they are open book. Okay. Actually, uh, the exams, the only thing you're restricted on the exams to 
is, as I said, you cannot use another browser. In other words, you can't use the computer to look up an answer. And okay. you're not allowed to use your phones. So what about the e-text? We can You're screwed. that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That's my, that was my caveat okay. uh, for, for the e-text. I it. can't, a test would be moot if I allowed you to have a browser to look up information. Because all you have to do is Google it, right? Yeah. So I have to restrict you by not allowing you to use a browser by that same token, Elizabeth. I don't know how I can give you access to the e-text. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Guys, I will see you on Wednesday then, okay? Bye. Sorry, Sorry Bye. sir. One last question before no, you go. Hey, I'm here. As long All as right, you so have questions, I'm here. I thought they were right, kind so of petering out. No, no, I'm just trying to get all my, because I've been writing, so I'm trying to get all my um, stuff together. But uh, so on Wednesday, the quiz, what did, you, what did you say we had to memorize? The elements. There okay, is, okay. if you go into the first module, okay, the test one, the uh, first module uh, is involving, I think it's titled Matter. Yes. It's day one. It's labeled day one, I'm fairly sure. Yeah. Go into that module. Inside there, you will find at the very bottom of that a homework assignment, which is basically elemental symbols. Right. And that was that page where I pulled up and showed you. It was the one where uh, sheep go by, then we bury them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So all, right. and all the elements that are there, you're responsible for. All right, all right. And so then the syllabus, uh, the schedule that you showed us in the syllabus, where it was the schedule ACC fall 2020. Um, so whatever it shows above the date is what what, it, what we have to do or For the quiz? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, okay, the quiz, the quiz encompasses Normally speaking, Cameron, I should have gone through, I should have gotten through the matter uh, portion right. of the, uh, uh, the, the matter lecture. I didn't have time to do that today. Okay. So because of that, I'm going to go on this screen right now as soon as I get out of here and I'm going to change some of the questions. Okay. So that you're not responsible for uh, for that as much. Uh, I'll make the questions a little easier. All right. Okay. I right. appreciate it. That's it for me. Okay. And I know this isn't the lab, um, but on Wednesday, uh, is, is attendance mandatory for the lab? Elizabeth, I, I cannot, I am not allowed to say it's mandatory. Okay. All right. <laughs> but by the same token, it is extremely important for you to be there, especially on the first day. Got it. Okay. Right. And did I understand you have a conflict? Um, no, I don't have any comp. I just make. I just wanted to clear that up. You don't. Normally, you don't have to be on the. In the what I'm going to do, Elizabeth, for the lab is I am going to give a short PowerPoint presentation of about a half an hour or so. And I'll go through theory and I'll go through uh, the procedures you're gonna have to go through as well as give you a, run a calculation all the way through from the beginning to the end of the experiment. Okay? Okay. Yeah, so, that and, uh, so that's what's gonna happen. Now, <sighs> Does that mean you have to be there? No. There are videos that the program produces that should be that should enable you to get through the particular the particular subject matter. Should Elizabeth. Okay? Okay. Should. Should. I'm not going to guarantee that they do. Okay. 
Well, that's all for me. Bye bye then. Bye. Anything else, guys? I think I have all I have are Andrew, Cameron, and Julian then. I'm actually good. Okay. Finest kind, guys. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.